So I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, a video of uh, one of the tests that we do. So quickly, I hope everyone is enjoying this and getting good information. We're getting into the meat, meat and potatoes, so stay with me here. So the three balance systems. You have three main systems that go into your balance. You have your vision, so you visually see your environment around you. And if you, if in relativity, the wall in front of you, you lean forward, you know that you've leaned forward because you visually can see it, right? How many people have been sitting at a red light and the car next to you, who you think is stopped, starts to roll forward slowly and you feel like you're moving backwards? Has that ever happened? That's because your vision is trying to tell you if you're moving or if something else is moving. It makes assumptions that that car is still and then you must be moving. Well, that's where some of the system is not working the way it's supposed to and your, your brain gets tricked. But on a day-to-day -day basis, you're taking in information from your environment on a regular basis to be able to keep yourself upright. Number two is you have your equilibrium. You have those fluid filled canals in your ear like we talked about um, that is going to tell you if, it's gonna work with your brain to tell you if you're moving or if you've turned your head or if you've leaned backwards and that information has to get to your brain quickly and your brain has to make adjustments quickly. The third is you have sensors in your feet and ankles. Okay, actually in all of your joints, but the ones that help with balance are mainly in your feet and ankles and in your knees and hips. And they give feedback uh, back to your brain of whether they've moved or not, right? So if I close my eyes and someone takes my arm and puts it above my head, and my eyes are still closed, but I, I can say, yeah, I know my arm's above my head. Of course, I could feel that it's up above my head. Well, I didn't have to see it. My inner ear didn't have anything to do with it, but I can still feel that I moved. Well, those sensations in your feet help uh, to keep your, um, help to keep you balanced. So I'm gonna use a quick analogy. So a lot of people say, you know, um, on this next video, you're gonna, you're gonna see how we test uh, if your equilibrium is working well. What we do is we put people on this blue mat. It's really squishy and a lot of people say, well, Ryan, I'm never gonna stand on a blue mat during and close my eyes during day-to-day -day life. Well, the thing I say is, um, the analogy I say is if you have three younger men, say in their 30s or 40s, and you guys know the, the VW bugs, the small little VW bugs, do you think three healthy younger men can push a VW bug on a flat paved surface? Yeah, of course they can. If it's broken down, the e-brake's not on, you know, it's in neutral, they can get it moving, right? Well, um, what happens if one of those guys, once it's moving, what if one of those guys just stops pushing but keeps his hands on the car? Do you think two of the guys could keep it moving? It's just a little VW bug. They could move it, right? What happens when they come to a hill? What if they come to just a medium-sized hill? Those two guys are gonna have a hard time moving that VW bug up the hill. You need all three systems, okay? So uh, the test I'm gonna show you, and I have some videos of it, um, test our equilibrium, okay? And so a lot of people say, well, you know, during day-to-day -day activity, I'm fine. I've never had a fall. Yeah, maybe I don't, you know, I'm not as agile as I was younger, but I'm, but I'm fine, right? Well, what happens when you catch your foot on a curb? What happens when someone bumps you in a crowded place? Uh, what happens when you turn quickly because you hear a loud noise and, and you throw yourself off balance? You need all three systems working good for those rare times where you're thrown off balance and you need to catch yourself quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the test. And hopefully it plays for me. There we go. So we do eyes open on a solid surface. Okay, so this lady um, came to us because she was having balance problems. She does really well 
with her eyes open, feet together, does a good job. We have her close her eyes on that and still on the solid surface. She still does pretty good. She, we're taking away one of those balance systems. All right, now we have her eyes open and we put her on the unstable surface. So we take her feet and ankles. The sensors in her feet and ankles can't help as much. She's a little more wobbly, but she's good. She's not falling over. Now we take two systems away and we see how our equilibrium is working by itself. Her eyes can't help and her feet and ankles can't help and just her equilibrium should be able to keep her upright. She has a really hard time and is really wobbly. This shows that her equilibrium is not working as fast as it could be. And this is where the balance specific exercises come in play. So I have another example. This actually happens to be her husband who has pretty bad neuropathy in his feet and ankles. So his feet and ankles already aren't helping him very much. So we put him on a solid surface, eyes open, and he wobbles a little bit, but he's all right. I don't have to grab him. He's not swaying too much. Now we have him close his eyes. You can already see he's tumbling over and has to grab onto the chair because his feet and ankles already aren't helping him. So I had to really catch him that time, otherwise he would have really fallen. So we put him on the unstable surface. Not a lot changes because his feet and ankles already aren't helping him, okay? So it's even more important that he, his equilibrium is working uh, better than it is now. So he worked with us for a few months. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I wish I would have taken the video, but he was able to stand on that blue mat for 30 seconds with his eyes closed by the time treatment was done. Um, and that's because his equilibrium was challenged and is now working faster.